Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Yixin uh, 5840 uh, video transmitter for FPV. Uh, this does not have 40 channels, uh, the box is old but the contents uh, are updated. It's a new generation uh, model, uh, it uses uh, another uh, circuit board. It has 50 channels and uh, what's most important about this that actually has a built-in OSD so it should be able to display battery voltage on uh, your FPV video. So let's see what we get in the box. So here is the transmitter. It's still written 40 channels on it and here it's back. You can see it has a labeling here OSD and if you look closely it looks very similar to the old model TS832. They look familiar, they have the same connectors, same buttons and even the back layout seems similar but this one has some uh, other components added to be able to display the voltage. Right, so in the box we get a very small manual with a frequency table, it shows us some kind of layouts and we have technical specifications here. If you want you can pause the video to observe them. Alright, let's see what else we get in the box. So we get a polarized circular polarized antenna. There's no marking on its uh, uh, if it's left or right polarized antenna and that is very important to know and I'm going to show you how to find out easily without breaking the antenna. So you need a powerful flashlight and you light up the plastic and you should be able to, I don't know if it's visible on, uh, on the camera, there we go, so it's in that direction. Uh, it's very easy. I'm going to make an arrow on it so it is inside like that. So you can compare it with another antenna. This is a receiver antenna. So you can see I have marked this lobe, that direction of the lobe. So these antennas are now matched. This is a transmitter antenna, this is a, a receiver antenna, and they are polarized in the same direction and these were previously done by me so this will not be good to use with this polarized antenna it has reverse polarization it's very important to match them otherwise you will have very poor performance and very low range All right so we have a mesh antenna for a receiver we also need for this test a camera FPV output enabled camera a cable a battery of course and a voltage meter to see what the battery is going to display so I'm going to make a quick connection this will go in here always install the antenna first on the transmitter before powering it up otherwise you will burn the transmitter antenna is secured we also need a FPV monitor and I'm going to replace the antenna with the matched antenna uh, it uses the right pin okay we got FPV let's plug in the battery battery has voltage here we can see cell voltage but I guess that only can show main voltage because it will not use a balance plug. I'm going to connect the camera now and the video pin will go to the video pin here and we also need to connect the common ground between the camera and the transmitter and now we have a ground okay camera is connected uh, I'm gonna power it on 
as it has its own battery. Camera is on. Now let's power on the transmitter. Transmitter has started. We have a voltage here. I'm going to move to all cell voltage. Total voltage. Okay. And I'm going to power on the monitor. And now I need to search the channel. Uh, to do that I'm going to try to find it from the transmitter because it's easier. I have finally found the channel and now I'm going to zoom in uh, to the monitor. And uh, that is the uh, image from the camera. Uh, very nice colors, very sharp, uh, very good transmission. Uh, but as you can see there is no OSD other than the camera's OSD which I can uh, of course uh, turn on and off and I'm going to turn it off for this test just to be sure that it will not overlap the transmitter's uh, OSD so OSD mode is now off and we have just clear image and uh, those indications there are from the monitor it's the channel and uh, uh, running time and uh, there's no information about the oh we have i was about to say that there's no information about the osd but it shows here to long press uh, button one which is button one because it only has two buttons so I'm just going to try this button and it says to move in a row, we'll close OSD, press again, long press to open. So I'm going to long press to open, try. So it will not change channel and yes, it's displaying something there and it says that to move it down, uh, probably down means to cycle it, you need to long press again. And yes, it's moving it downward, one line at a time. Okay, so that should be kind of visible, but I don't know if you can notice, indications are not very clear. Uh, there are some uh, kind of uh, dots around, so I can try to distinguish that here we have 10.9 volts and here it says 11 volts maybe there is a voltage drop between the two devices so 10.9 11.1 1, it may be close and it also displays channel 43 which corresponds to uh, my setup it's 43 and it also shows a running time so I'm just running the transmitter by seven minutes so it actually works but I'm not very satisfied with if I look from a distance from a long distance I kind of understand but I don't know it's not very clear uh, let's try to move it even down, down, more than this. Uh, I have changed the channel. Okay, let's go back. There it goes. Uh, I wonder if I power off the camera. So if the camera is off, no. There's only static, it will not show a blank screen. And if I take the plug out, no. I wanted to see if it's from uh, interference from the camera or not. Mm, it looks the same. So it works. The voltage is kind of there, not very accurate, but you get an idea of uh, what it's showing so it's a step forward but i'm not very 
surprised uh, by it. I was expecting at least to have some clear indications, not to try to guess that you are at 10.9 volts. So that was the little test of uh, this uh, thing. Uh, I can only tell you that it's very hot near the antenna here and on its back you can barely touch it. This is uh, 600 milliwatts but it's very hot, very very hot. I don't know if it's going to have a long lifespan in this uh, condition. Uh, hopefully on a quadcopter it will get some air current and uh, it will be a bit cooler than this but on uh, 7 minutes it's too hot for my liking. So until next time, bye bye!